Kitchen, a place to celebrate all things food. Whether you're a master chef in the kitchen or a newbie to cooking and love eating, there's something here for you. Actually, uh, I'm about to touch up on my culinary skills <laughs> and you're just in time to see me whip up a batch of my famous tomato pasta sauce. I have a really good feeling about this, so let's do it. Obviously, we need tomatoes, mushrooms, herbs, and a little bit of butter, because why not? And through the magic of television, pasta sauce! Oh, what am I supposed to do now? Oh, it's my Aunt Linda. Spencer, you forgot the most important part of making a pasta sauce. Open the package I sent you this morning. Yes, I told you, Aunt Linda always comes through. <laughs> Garlic and onions? No offense to Aunt Linda, but the only thing these garlic and onions are gonna give my pasta sauce is bad breath. <laughs> I heard that. <clears throat> garlic and onions, AKA aromatics, are the foundation of flavor. When you know how to use them, they can take your cooking to the next level. Huh, aromatics, what does that mean? I said, <laughs> what does that mean? No. Okay, well, maybe she's taking a nap or something. Coming up on Kid Food Nation, we're exploring the wonderful world of aromatics. Our trusty group of taste testers get smelly. But first, Tyra and KFN hero Alexa get up close and personal with the MVP of aromatics, garlic. Hi, my name's Alexa. I'm 12 years old and I live in Stouffville, Ontario. Did I mention that I love garlic? So it says here that aromatics are vegetables and herbs that are heated in butter or oil to add flavor and aroma to a dish. I'm listening. Commonly used aromatics include garlic, onions, carrots, and celery. Ooh, what else? Sauces, curry, soups all typically start off with aromatics like garlic. What else? That's really all there was. Well, luckily, we just happen to be at Sundance Harvest, an urban garden in Toronto, Ontario that grows garlic and other aromatics. Let's go! Hey, Cheyenne, I have to ask, you are so young. How did you start your own farm? Yeah, I started my own farm at 21 years old, and I'm 24 now, and I found land to grow food, and I really wanted to have a place where my community and people my age had a space to grow awesome vegetables and have a great time. So what do you grow here at Sundance Harvest? In the summer, we grow garlic and tomatoes, and in the winter, we grow greens, microgreens, herbs, and mushrooms. I love garlic, but how do you grow it? So this is garlic. We grow garlic in straw, which is dried grass. First, we have the bulb, which grows underground and is primarily what you think about when you eat garlic. After that, we have the stem. And in the stem, there's something called escape. An escape tastes like garlic. At the very top of the escape is the garlic bulbous. And this part of the garlic is actually really cool because if you let this flower, you get many, many seeds of garlic. Oh, I didn't know that. And if you plant this, eventually, it will turn into the size of one bulb. Oh, wow, that's very spicy. Yes, it's actually spicy because it hasn't been cured yet. Once the garlic is cured for one month, it begins to mellow out and have the traditional flavor of garlic that we all know and love. Well, cheers to garlic. To garlic. Trust me, garlic will make your pasta sauce a hit. Did you know that it's estimated that Canadians eat over three pounds of garlic a year? That's over 300 cloves of garlic. Whoa, garlic must be added to a ton of dishes. Well, bad breath or not, maybe this garlic really is what my famous pasta sauce is missing. Here goes. No, but wait, I still want to put these aromatics to one more final test. the true power of aromatics, like garlic and onions. I'm gonna give 
my friends, two different versions of the same dish. One without aromatics and one with aromatics. Let's see which one they like best. Mac and cheese. This one has garlic, I think. Because we're getting way more flavorful. The first one is a five out of 10, and the second one is a 10 out of 10. Pasta and tomato sauce. I could taste a lot of tomato. Whoa, this is way more flavorful. It tastes good, but I like mine like lighter, not as much tomato sauce. Spaghetti dance, spaghetti dance. Looks like chicken noodle soup. This one tastes like my Nana makes. That's it, that's chicken noodle soup. It's missing like spice. Definitely more flavor. Chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup. It's the moment of truth. And through the magic of aromatics, it worked! I'm a real chef! My Aunt Linda was right! The scent of success! Have you ever wondered how smelling actually works? I'm sure Aunt Linda knows. <laughs> Cause she knows everything. <laughs> Isn't the sense of smell so scientifically wonderful? You see, scents are actually teeny weeny little odors that float through the air. <laughs> when we sniff or breathe, this scented air travels way up our noses through our nostrils. But before the air travels to our receptor cells, it gets filtered through our nose hairs to make sure it's clean and safe. <laughs> That was a long one. <laughs> From there, our brain simply tells us what the smell is and how to react. Let me demonstrate. Mm. Ooh, is that rotten eggs with sour milk? Disgusting. Humans have the ability to smell up to one trillion different odors, and it would be my luck that I would happen to smell two of the worst odors in this beaker. <sighs> Anywho, that is the science of smell. Back to you, Spencer. This pasta sauce not only tastes good, it smells good too. My compliments to the chef. Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> nice job, Spencer. Now, if I want to become a world-class chef, I gotta learn more about aromatics. And if I want to find out more about aromatics, we gotta talk to some more chefs. Tyra, Alexa, I've got another mission for you. I'm so excited to meet Chef Mahir today. Me too. It says here that he grew up in Mumbai, India and makes incredibly aromatic Indian food. Mmm. Hi, Tyra. Hi, Alexa. It smells so good in here. So, what's on the menu today? Today, we are cooking some of my favorite Indian dishes, uh, which are very homely and very delicious. Uh, since uh, spices and aromatic are soul of Indian food, I have some of my uh, favorite spices here, and we're going to cook with them. And also, we're going to learn about a technique called tadka. What exactly is tadka? Tadka is a process uh, technique where you infuse flavors from your spices, from your aromatics, into your oil. We're gonna start with adding uh, oil. Now the oil is hot. We start with cumin seeds, mustard seeds. The aroma is all stuck inside, so where the way you take it out is you toast it in the oven or you cook it in the oil and take the aroma out. I'm gonna follow with some shallots, ginger, we are also gonna follow with some garlic. I love garlic. Once you see your onion, ginger, garlic is golden brown, that's the time you know it's ready. Smells amazing. You see how bubbly this is? Wow, yeah. And then pour this over the dal. Oh! And the moment you pour this in the dal, it sizzles. This is the method where you're infusing a plain dal with more flavors. And now we're gonna say use the same tarka for blanched vegetables. Our dal's ready. Oh, that looks so good. And for the best part, less taste. It looks so good. Mmm. Oh, you can really taste the spices. Mmm, this is really good.
Thanks, Chef Mahir. Delicious. <laughs> Thank you, Alexa, Tyra, and Chef Mahir. That was <laughs> beautiful to watch. Oh, oh, chopped onions, they get me every time. And if you like cooking too, you're in luck. President's Choice Children's Charity is putting the power of cooking in your hands. You can check out ytv.com backslash kidfoodnation to learn more about the movement. And uh, since this is the only appropriate time I can get away with saying it, I'm gonna say it. Smell you later.